So I wanted to do a demo on converting thick to thin and thin to thick. I did actually think I covered this in an earlier video, but the question came up recently about any uh, overhead for it and can it be done online or does it have to be done offline? Um, so really quick, uh, it could be done online. We're gonna go through that right now. Uh, I do have a 100 gig, and I'm only using 100 gig for uh, time considerations. I have a 100 gig file here. I've got uh, iometer running. <coughs> Pardon me. You can see here. And I've got a little workload going on. And let's go to charts. I'm charting it so we can see the performance of this particular 100 gig LUN. And now we're going to go ahead and convert it to a fully provisioned LUN or a thick LUN. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on the volume and then convert virtual volume. All right, now it's gonna give me some options. I can, um, so I'm, it's already thin, so it's gonna to default to the next evolution, which is thin to fully provision. But it's gonna say I can discard the original volume because it will do a rewrite. I can keep and add a suffix to the original volume and I can keep and rename the original volume. And in this particular case, I'm just going to discard the original volume. I'm going to select the volume here. It's already highlighted. Move it into my selection of volumes to convert. And then I can also uh, pick a new CPG if I wanted to do that. And obviously, to do a uh, CPG conversion, you would need dynamic optimization. But I'm just going to do the original CPG. OK, so let's just go ahead and click OK. And we can see that it's running right there. Now it's already switched up to a full virtual volume. <clears throat> now back to thin. And you might see that flip back and forth as it converts to volume. And let's go back to performance charts. There we go. So we can see there was some impact, right? Because it's rewriting that volume. It's already three percent So one thing that we did not see is during this rewrite process, right? you notice that here's the read line, and reads went higher, writes were lower, because if you're familiar with uh, how Pure Motion would do the replication of a volume, I essentially did the same thing. So I started writing a new volume out when I did the conversion, and then when the conversion was complete, then, so that's what this, this part here is, right? I'm writing the new volume out. So the I.O. is no longer necessarily going to this volume. It's all going to the new volume while I copy this volume to the new one. When it completes, it renames the volume so that it is now taken over the original workload in this particular performance graph. So let's go back to here so you can see it's still performing work. Let's look at our provisioning here. See, it's now a fully provisioned volume, 100%. All right, so let's convert it back. Again, because it's already a full volume, it's going to now select the conversion full to thin. I'm going to discard the original volume. And again, I will select the original CPG for it to go into. Right back to performance charts. And again, 
what it's doing right now. It's writing out the new volume. Let's see right here. Again, all this is online, and I've done no tuning at, or at all to the volume, so it's just um, the standard volume. One other thing you can notice is during the conversion, you can see where it switches over, right? Because we're continually graphing. So the IO goes to the new volume here. The IO goes to the new volume here. So let's go. Let's see, it's still, still doing work on it. We're so provisioning volume. And there we go. It's now a thin volume. So it is pretty simple. Um, it can be done online. There is little performance impact, obviously, because I'm doing a rewrite, so I'm adding a load to the frame. Um, so, you know, if, if I made a recommendation, I would say, you know, try to, if you're doing a, a lot of conversions from thin to thick or thick to thin, you know, uh, do it in a lower, uh, a lower performance window and maybe only do, you know, six or eight of them at a time. Uh, they'll queue up. But uh, just, you know, uh, take your time and, and if you're doing a lot of the conversions. You'll also notice that this volume is a little larger now than what it was when I first started. Uh, it was 28%, now it's 32%. So it gained a little bit from those two conversion windows. So I could go back to this volume now and run an estelite on it to clean up that volume a little bit more if I wanted to do some reclaim. I'm not going to do that in this demo. I just wanted to quickly show you that, yes, you can do the conversion online. So there you go. Thanks a lot.